today I'm doing neurofeedback and I brought with me my Mindy device. Now, uh, if you guys don't know what neurofeedback is, that's not what this video is about. It's essentially just to show if this Mindy device works or if it doesn't work. But I do neurofeedback every Tuesday because I have a head injury and I'm trying to bring anxiety down. Um, and panic attacks. I'm trying to get, just get that all the way. I'm, I'm retraining my brain and I want my brain to respond properly uh, to uh, stressful situations. So how I'm gonna test this is first I'm gonna hook everything up and then just watch, well I won't hook it up, the technicians will hook everything up and I'm gonna watch the screen, the TV screen and just record, not with no training. The second thing I'm gonna do is uh, turn on the neuro device and then record the brain waves while my brain's being trained. And then we'll pause it for a minute and then we'll put the Mindy device on and see the results. So we'll have three separate tests that we're going to perform to see uh, if the Mindy device does what it says it does. So I'll see you there. So now we're gonna to transition to the Mindy part of it. Um, I got the device. I'm still all hooked up with all the leads. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and run through this and see how it turns out. Um, so what were we what were we doing today? So we were training frontal sites, the prefrontal cortex and frontal cortex. That's uh, FP1, FP2, F3, and F4. Uh, having a lot to do with focus and sustaining attention, filtering out distractions and impulse control, and self-regulation in general. And we did a, a baseline of that, um, just recording that activity going on there while there is no feedback for you. And then we ran the neurofeedback uh, for about um, uh, about ten minutes or so, and then we did uh, the um, you had to do your Mindy training then uh, for several minutes, and then we did a really brief ending on that. And so, just like with the delta, the theta converged and compressed to, and with normative ranges around eight, eight microvolts. And it's not so much the actual levels as much as it is the ratios. The ratios came in line, so we don't have this big gap. We're seeing so much more theta and delta than the other bandwidths. They're being compressed while the other bandwidths are kind of holding, their, they're kind of staying steady. So the ratios are changing. That's, that's the best part about the, the, the uh, results. Not so what we're looking at is the first 15 minutes is the baseline. And so you're just watching the video there and I'm recording in that time, but there's no feedback coming on. And so as with any baseline, it's, it's pretty volatile. And uh, at this point here, about 16th minute, we started the neurofeedback training. Now there is an interruption here at 23 minutes where the disc ran out. We had to switch discs. Uh, but this, this period here, this neurofeedback period, runs up until about the 20, 28th minute. And so we did get some declines in the theta. We saw some benefit there while neurofeedback was running. We can see the alpha converges, the light blue here and um, that's better connectivity and, um, and we also see the, the, the um, uh, 
the delta come down slightly. Uh, then when we get into the um, the Mindy training here, at about it started about the 28th minute here. We can see there for that period of the Mindy training, right up until it's really up until a couple minutes to the end. Uh, the delta really compresses, and so does the theta. Everything does, especially the low beta. That's particularly for for focusing and concentrating. And um, so. Uh, that is much more efficient brainwave activity. It's converging, it's uh, compressing, um, and that's what we want to see uh, when you're focusing. And then for the last couple minutes, um, it's kind of choppy, but uh, that's just returning to the neurofeedback in the last couple minutes.